welcome to part two to using your iPad with voiceover. Continuing with the gestures. On part two, we're going to learn some further gestures. The swipe up and down gesture. The swipe from left to right with three fingers gesture. And how to navigate your pages and how to navigate the screen using all of these new gestures. Now in part one, we learned how to navigate the screen by simply swiping from left to right. But further down the screen, let me just start again. And we do a, a very quick recap on this one. So I'm just going to swipe from left to right to read what's on my screen. Maps, videos, notes, reminders, photo booth, settings, newsstand, icon store, game center, app store, Kindle. I translate void music, page one or three, adjustable. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. So it says swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. On your home screen, you would have a number of apps. But as you work more and more with your iPad, you will get more apps that you require from the App Store. Some of these apps are free, some are quite cheap and others are more expensive. But as you gather more and more apps, you will discover that only so many fit on the home screen. But you have any number of home screens that the device requires. In my case, I have three home screens. I'm currently on page one of my home screens. I now want to navigate to page two. Let me go back again just to remind you what VoiceOver announced. Music. Double tap open page one or three. Adjustable. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. It says page one of three. Swipe up or down to adjust the value. The value means the page number. So if I want to move to page two, then page two or three. Page I swipe three. up Adjustable. to page two. VoiceOver announces that I'm now on page two of three. If I swipe up again, page three or three. Page three or three. Adjustable. Page three of three. Adjustable. So I can swipe down to go back to page two. Page two or three. Page two or three. Adjustable. Back down again. Page one or three. Page one or three. I'm adjustable. now back to my page one on my home screen. Page. Up again. Page two or three. Page two or three. Adjustable. So if I want to search around on page two, then I go back to my left and right swipes. YouTube. Dublin Buster. Artist Grid for HD. FaceTime. Recordium. Millionaire. RTE Player. Find iPhone. Find friends. iMovie. iBooks. iPhoto. iTunes U. Numbers. Pages. Keynote. Pages. Numbers. iTunes U. iPhoto. iBooks. iMovie. Find friends. And so on. Double tap open. So when you're navigating a particular screen, you can use the left and the right swipes. If you're adjusting the page that you want to go to, then you would make sure that you can hear page one of two or page one of three or how many pages you've got adjustable announced and then use your swipe up or swipe down gesture. You can also use the swipe up and swipe down gestures with two fingers. So let's go back to the home screen again. At this case, I can press my home button at the very bottom of my screen. Home. Messages. This will, open. this will always bring me back to my home screen. The reason that it announces messages is because the first app that I have on my home screen, which is on the top left, is messages. Yours may vary. Yours may be organized in a different manner but it will announce your first app on the top left of your screen. So now, instead of swiping continuously from left to right, I can ask the iPad to read everything on my screen for me by using the two finger swipe down gesture. This means you align your two fingers together and swipe down. Search field is editing. Search iPad, cancel, but cancel. Cancel. Button. Q. W. Search field. Is editing. Search iPad. Can cancel. Button. Cancel. Messages. Back to my messages. Double and swipe down. Messages. Calendar. Monday the 30th of March. Photos. Camera. Contacts. Clock. Maps. Videos. Notes. Reminders. Photo booth. Settings. One new item. Newsstand. Icon store. Game center. App store. Kindle. 
I translate voice. Music. Page one of three. Adjustable. Safari. Mail. Twelve and red messages. And you can hear that dog, dog, dog. You will hear that when you either reach the very bottom or the very top. In other words, I've had a saying, I can't go any further in this direction. This is the end. If I swipe up with two fingers, Pages, numbers, iTunes U, iPhoto, iBooks, iMovie, Find Friends, Find iPhone, RTE Player, Millionaire, Recordium, FaceTime, Artist Critical HD, Dublin Buster, YouTube, Page 2 or 3, Adjustable, Safari, Mail, 12 and Red Messages. This time, you could tell that when I swiped up with two fingers, it went back to the top and began reading through all my items on page 2. So now, you can either swipe down the screen with two fingers and it will start reading from whatever app that is currently selected forwards or you can swipe back up with two fingers and this will say please start reading from the very top of my screen. So if you are looking for particular apps this is the way to do it. Now there is another feature that you can use to navigate between screens and this is the three finger swipe left or right. I think this is handy because if you have travelled or you're just navigating between screens, you don't have to wait until something is announced before you can swipe up or down with one finger. So let me demonstrate that. So I'm going to align three fingers together and then swipe left. Page one or three. Swipe back the other way. Page two or three. Keynote. Again. Dropbox. Double tap open. You can swipe back again. Page two or three. Keynote. Again. Messages. Double tap open. So it's a lovely quick way of aligning three fingers together and just go, go to the next page. It's almost like flicking pages in a book, if you like. So you're using the three fingers, swipe left or right. So just to recap on our gestures for part two is the swipe up or down with one finger that you can adjust the value of the pages. We will see in the later lessons how this actually comes into play. So these are just purely demonstrations of, you know, when you can use these gestures, but honestly learn them because these are going to pay off big time for you when you start working with voiceover on your iPad. So the first one we had was the one finger swipe up and down. This will adjust the value. The two fingers swipe up and down. This is continuous reading from top to bottom on your iPad screen. And the three finger swipe left and right which will adjust the value of the page very quickly for you. So have a little practice and then continue on with part three of using voiceover on the iPad.